Another term that we encountered is morula. Latin root word is morum, which is a mulberry. You all know what a mulberry is. The mulberry is a particular type of a plant where the fruits, you know, the produce is in a cluster. The fruits are in a closely packed cluster. And that is what we say is a cluster of mulberry. Mulberry is a cluster. So, morula is that form, that stage in the development where you find a solid mass of cells. Solid mass because the cells are all closely packed. They are not away from one another. In the mulberry tree, you would find the fruits are all very closely packed. So, it is one bunch. Similarly, a bunch of cells, a solid mass of cells resulting from repeated cleavages of a zygote. A morula is usually produced in those species where the cleavage is complete. You remember just a while ago, I mentioned about complete cleavage, partial cleavage. Complete cleavage is called holoblastic cleavage. Partial cleavage is called meroblastic cleavage. You know, wherever the ovum, that is where we started, isn't it? Ovum plus sperm goes to form the zygote. The ovum, when it has yolk, the nutrient material yolk, when it has considerable amount of yolk or a large amount of yolk, cleavage is partial. So, in those organisms or in those specii, where there is more yolk, cleavage is not complete and leads to meroblastic cleavage. But in those species where there is less yolk, little amount of yolk, for example, the human ovum does not have much yolk at all. So, here the cleavage is complete. The cell is able to divide completely. And wherever the cleavage is complete, one cell divides into two complete daughter cells. Two daughter cells become four daughter cells. You find these cells are complete individually. As for themselves, each of them is complete and you find they are closely packed and that packed structure is called the morula. So, morula is usually produced in those species where the cleavage is complete, where the embryo has little yolk. And what do you call those individual cells? Morula is that bunch and individual cells, the cells produced by the cleavage of the zygote are called the blastomeres. So, here you find you are able to find that structure there, that beautiful structure you find here. You find one cell, one cell, one cell, one cell. So, you find many number of cells and they are all so closely packed. You notice that one cell, so closely packed. So, these individual cells are called the blastomeres and this entire structure becomes what is called the morula. The human morula has about 60 plus cells. In other words, single cell zygote divides. It reaches a stage of about 16 cells. That is when we start calling it the morula. Not until the 16 cell stage. Why? The appearance of a close bunch comes only when there are 16 cells. You just have about two cells, four cells. The cells, they don't appear to be a bunch. There are cells, but then they don't appear to be a mulberry kind. So, from the 16 cell stage onwards, we call it the morula. And until about the 64 or a little more, it is called the morula. So, this is now a picture to show you what happens. You find this is the single cell zygote and that becomes two cells and then the four cells and then you find here more number of cells and that is the morula. You find the cells are all very closely packed to one another 
and uh, of course this is a pictorial representation but then pictorial representation or an illustration makes you understand better you find the cells are overlapping one another but then they are so closely packed to each other now in the moral law are the blastomeres so what are these blastomeres the cells which resulted from cleavage isn't it so a blastomere is a cell that's produced by cleavage of a zygote the cell produced by the cleavage of a zygote is called a blastomere and then it derives itself from the term blast is a bud it's budding mere is a term to indicate a segment you know something goes into do the budding so you call it the blastomere the cells of the morella the components of the morella are called the blastomeres